it sounds stupid when you're explaining it because they fight in for nothing and trying to explain that to someone it just sounds completely pointless. started at the end of June in 2000 till January. Police escorts had to like, escort us up to school because our school is in the Paris community and they like, tried to stop us because it was a like, Catholic school and they didn't want Catholics going in and out of their area. I was in P1. I remember everybody shouting and they were throwing fireworks and like bags of urine. Every time we were walking up the road, there was always like trouble and retin. And we was very clear that she wanted me to go to school. She sort of thought I have a right to get educated. Their schools like just facing, and I suppose like their children and all was being affected by it too. In a way, I was young, but it'll always still be our, and I'll still remember things, and it's like still affected me and my family and the community and the school. If I could ask the question about the adults that were involved in the Holy Cross incident, it would probably be, why did they do it? If you were a child, you would probably be going, like, what's going on? Yeah, but if you, like, keep on living in it, you will like grow up to think of be normal. I think it's normal. Before I ever met a person, everyone used to say they were all bad. I've never really been bitter, I don't see the point, because everybody's just the same. I go to like an integrated school and most of my friends are partisans. There's always loads of fighting and trouble with like the shankle and body syllables. Everybody thinks they could go fun, fight and start trouble, like even with like the police and all. Well, the BR, like in the rat and it's like for some of my age it would be like probably scurry because there'd be like loads of people and loads of police running about and everybody fighting and like getting beat. No, but at the same time it's like kinda exciting too. Hey. <laughs> Maybe sister like like she doesn't really know and she's always scared so like my mum like has to like try and hide it from her because like the last time she like she was really scared and after like she started stuttering and all and then she had like she went and sleep in her own room. So from now on whenever they're shouting you know, we'll have to like, go over to my granny's. Nobody knows how to make it stop or like what started or what can they do? Like shows everybody's like tried everything and nothing's really helped. I think other people in different countries are probably think people from Northern Ireland are mad because like <laughs> Emmas don't like go out and straighten rats and fight. No, like they're all so peaceful, but over here like everybody's fighting and can't get along. I've always said like. I don't want to live here when I'm older and I think there'll be a better life like, somewhere else. Some of my good friends are in my life are my friends and my family and like wave. We go to wave, like, we walk like there's steps and you go up and then walk through the door and like we would always go in till the front room like there's all sofas now and sit there and wait and everyone coming. And then go down to the back room and do like, say like bits of drama or like art or like whatever, like the project's on and just like sit and talk and have fun and joke about and then go get something to eat and then come back and do it, like go out in the garden and play or something and then get a taxi home. It's not like strict or nothing, like you're allowed to go and have fun and express how you feel and just... 